Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play Clock Tower, where we left off. We saw the B ending. So we have B, we have E, we haven't seen A yet, of course, C or D. We're gonna work on those. Let's go data load. Now, we're not gonna start new because we saved at particular points. So where are we going? Well, we're going to this data file. And of course, you remember, we were going to go into the fireplace. We're not going to. It smells funny. Scissor Man was in there. We don't want to. We really don't. So where do we want to go? Well, first of all, click where you run into here. Now, a lot of this stuff we've already seen, heard, dealt with. So we're not going to do a whole bunch of this stuff yet. I believe I need to interact with this. No, I don't. Oh, maybe I do. I'm going to double check. I believe I have to interact with this. Yes, I do. Okay, so a mouse, go over here, of course. What else do I have? I have screwdriver, fireplace. Okay, I think I know what I need to do, hopefully. Hopefully. Open this up. Grab the key. And then we need to use this on this to get the batteries. So let's go here. Now we're gonna head back down here and through this door. And then we're gonna go through, not that one, we need to go through this one. I also have to apologize, the infamous buzzing noise is back again. I have tried my darnest to get it to not buzz, and it's 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 there. It's it, it exists. I apologize, guys. I wish there was something I could do, but I, I've tried my options so far. Good chance there's something I haven't done yet. Whenever I get to finding that solution, I will definitely do it. So yeah, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna free Nolan, just to say he's alive, you know? Ah! Nolan, what happened? Uh, uh. Ow, ow, ow. Are you all right? Damn, somebody attacked me from behind. My head is still throbbing. And of course, we talked to him a second time. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. We'll find her. Actually, no, I'm gonna find her. And yes, Jennifer is still alive in this run. Because we haven't gone to the church yet. So yeah, we're going to pick up some batteries, because we need batteries. And then we're going to open this chest to get our balls. And then we're going to run to the library. I think, yeah, we have the library key. I got the mouse, of course. So let's get out of here. Let's... Let's... Get out of this popsicle stand. Let's go upstairs. I think the library's up here. I'm having second thoughts. I'm pretty confident the library is up here. Oh yeah, okay. And then we run... I think this way. That one we would enter, and that leads us to the balcony, if I remember correct. Ah, yes, okay. And this is the door we want. So 
So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to skip a couple things here. We're, we're going to walk past this. We're going to check out these scratch marks. And we're just going to use the copper book right away. I think we can. Aha, we can. And we're going to go in here. We're going to deal with this stupid lead ball thing again. So, let's plop it in this one. Nope. We don't want that one. We don't want to be like football tackled by a bunch of rats. Okay, so we know it is going to be the last one. Let's go down that one. And I wish, I really wish there was a way to skip cinematics we've already seen. There is not. We have to sit through them again and deal with them. Oh, wait, what? 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 Did we not hear a thud? Those last two were water, were they not? What the heck? What the heck? Why are we being football tackled by rats? Were they that excited to be back on again? Oh my goodness, I could have sworn the first two were... You know, not a thud, but a sploosh. Did I hear that right? I, I'm going to have to go back and find out in editing if that was a sploosh or a thud. Let's, let's just try the moon one again. Okay, it was a thud. Okay, oops. Oops, 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 I was, I was not paying attention, apparently. Oops, oopsies. Just, just, maybe, maybe we'll just call it, like, you know, RNG manipulation. Like, maybe, possibly, oopsies. Um, but yeah, we can't skip the cutscenes. Unfortunately, we, you, you can't skip it, you just have to sit and watch them over and 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 over again. So, enjoy this part again. God? Yo, teach. Oh, you're alive. Hey, what do you mean by that? I always love his reaction, though. That was That's always just fantastic. Aren't they with you? Scissorman attacked us and we all scattered. Oh, I see. What do we do now, Teach? We've got to keep looking. There has to be a way to kill Scissorman here somewhere. See, it's not really here to really say in all honesty during this, just... That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Uh, this time around we're getting the gun first, and then we can run to yeah. Jennifer, where then she is. You. Um, you see some an interesting scene. It might be useful. A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Can you use it? Yes. I've had some training. That means you're an amateur. But anyway... This will be real practice.
got. Oh. Thank you. Mm. What was that? Just what you thought you saw. Ghosts. Probably the ghosts of all the kids killed here. How terrible. After Scissor Man, I ain't scared of no ghosts. I do enjoy that comment that he makes. Okay, so we're gonna head to those church doors. We are packing, you know, that gun, of course. Um. So yeah, we're going to head over there. And we're going to show Scissor Man who's boss here. We finally got a gun. But how are we going to open the door? We don't have a key. We, we, we can't open this. We, we Actually, we can. We use the pistol. Like I said, Helen's packing. She She's ready to kick ass and chew bubble gum. She's out of all of... Uh, she's out of all the bubble gum. So Pala came undone. Let's go in there. Let's show Sizman who's boss. Besides <gasps> so me a guess, we're gonna use the gun on Sizman. It's okay now. I've got Scissor Man cornered. Wait here. Okay, so yeah, like we said, wait here. We're gonna we're gonna go confront Scissor Man. We're gonna show him who's boss. We're gonna beat that Edward to a pop, since we know it's Edward. Or is it? Dun dun dun! Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Helen, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. when you are researching criminal behavior. Always remember that danger. What are you saying? It, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be 
involved. Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I, I'm not like you. Uh, uh. All right, Teach. She's okay. The murderer was Professor Barton. Helen! Teach, I know you're in shock, but you are alive. That's something to be happy about, ain't it? Yes, you're probably right. So, that's one of the endings. We found out Sisma is actually Professor Barton, even though it's actually Edward. But this is one of the endings you could get if you don't get particular items before that part. So I'm going to hit skip this in these credits. Ending rank D, survivors identified. You know, I'm trying to remember if there was actually something else be like after that maybe there is let me, let me let's, let's find out here but yeah we have ending D we have any D I could have sworn there's a little bit more to that ending I could have sworn let's, let me let me quickly play it and I'm gonna see if there's more to it okay apparently I can't watch it that's weird I can't watch D Okay, well, that's D ending. Um, so yeah, Scissor Man was Professor Barton, but the actual Scissor Man is still free running rampant. So we have A, and we have C still to cover. So what does that mean? Do I continue on, or do I end the episode here, guys? I'm a little torn about that. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I will end the episode here, guys. Um, just to keep the endings kind of broken up. So we got C. And then we got A. Good chance. I'm gonna compile that all together. A, I know off by hand how to achieve that one. C, I remember and yet I don't remember. I remember how C ends, but I don't remember what I need to get C. You see my problem. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry for the short episode, guys. I'm gonna end the episode here, just to keep this ending separate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my Let's Play the Clock Tower. As usual, do let me know. Like comment, subscribe, check out my other Let's Plays as well, all that fun stuff. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!